push the sleeve that's off. Now all I gotta do is pull on the main line. Yeah. There he goes. Wow. Okay, this is a this is a bobber rig using uh, Bill Shelton's self-releasing hook system. You start off with a little bobber stopper here, it's just a little piece of plastic with three holes in it, and you thread it, thread your line through that bobber stopper. Next in line is just a little plastic bead, and then this is a little pin bobber that slides on the line like that. Next thing is a little swivel and then this from the swivel down is just one of uh, Bill's Sh uh, Shelton self-releasing trout hooks. And there's a couple of little BB size split shot here and the only other modification is on his his rig down here is a. Uh, I just take another one of the BB size split shot and just pinch it on by hand. You don't put it on with pliers. Just pinch it on enough to hold it on there, so that this will still slide. So that when you pull pull the tag line down here, you can still pull the sleeve off like that, and then that, then the hook will, will release out of the fish. So this way, what you can do is you can move this up and down the line, and when the when the bobber is in the water, it pulls against that, and that's that stops it, and that determines your depth. And get so, up out of that. Yeah. That determines your depth, so that if you want to go deeper, you just move this little bobber stopper up farther, and your bait will go deeper. And the reason for the reason for the weight down here is to sink the power bait, because if you if you just put power bait on this hook without this little BB size split shot, the uh, power bait would float up and wouldn't sink below the bobber. So that's the reason for that. And uh, been real successful.